Twitter permanently banned Milo Yiannopoulos because he teased movie star and thin-skinned SNL comedian Leslie Jones about the new feminist spite-filled Ghostbusters movie. Worse, 13-year-old Twitter troll said mean things to her. Boo-hoo! The very worst of the treatment to which Leslie Jones was subjected by the Twitter troll followers of Milo Yiannopoulos is mild compared to how second wave all men are rapists, third wave you go girl, and fourth wave check your intersectional cisgender privilege feminists routinely treat and characterize men. While the mainstream rushes to sympathize with Jones and Pillory Milo, men whose lives have been ruined by the feminist hate mongers get only harsh treatment when they complain and are in effect scolded, you personally have been oppressing women for billions of years and now you have to suffer to make up for it. It sounds absurd, but several years ago I appeared on the short-lived Bertice Berry TV talk show in Chicago where author, sociology professor, and outspoken male feminist Michael Kimmel essentially said just that. He didn't say billions of years, of course. Is it any wonder, however, that the number of men who are angry and rebelling against that is growing, or that these men are beginning to lash out? Any man who is not an anti-feminist should be. Any anti-feminist man who is not MGTOW should be. MGTOW is the modern way to go galt. Don't know what it means to go galt? Read the wonderful book, Atlas Shrugged, by Ayn Rand. Speaking about books and MGTOW and going galt, a few days ago I received my copy of Bernard Chapin's new book, Man Going His Own Way. I ordered it on Amazon. In an upcoming video, I'll review it for you, but it looks pretty good and I'm looking forward to reading it. As Bern Chapin says, listen to the eagle, read the book.